Okay, today is Wednesday, 4.30, uh, 2014, about 11.15, and the update is that for the last week I have been deathly ill, uh, passing blood, throwing up, uh, not being able to go to the bathroom, um, and of course, uh, having problems peeing. Um, today I was told to go to Tom Waddell and you know uh, this is in follow-up with Miss Kelly Kruger who supposedly spoke with them and informed them of my programmatic access the videotaping the prior denials and of course you know this is the same Kelly Kruger who is on video telling me that of course you know with her Jedi mind trick that I was not denied um, this is this video is to continue to show the illusions, the inhumanity, uh, the non-caring, etc. So here's the bag I brought, and in here, you know, like I said, I basically have been peeing in a bottle, uh, you know, at the side of the bed because it's been painful to go to the bathroom and everything else, and it's been really, I've never seen this, it's disgusting, it's like, you know, a brine, and, uh, you know, salt at the bottom, uh, highly, highly disgusting. It could be, you know, kidneys or a kidney stone or who knows. But the point is that, you know, for so many years of not having health care and me looking, you know, the villain is, 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 is the system which is, you know, set to fail as all the videos have shown. Um, you must understand that uh, I have been interfacing with Miss Kruger for the last, you know, uh, day, day and a half, I believe, you know, informing her that, you know, these were my plans. And instead of, you know, resolving this issue as the crisis uh, intervention team or the San Francisco liaison, psych liaison, or even better yet in her capacity, as she sits as a member on the mental health board, you know, for this to be continually happening shows just the complicity and, you know, the, the inhumanity. You must understand that, you know, people have often said that they, they don't understand why sick people or poor people, you know, get arrested, you know, to get health care. Well, I think it's pretty apparent when, you know, the city can break and flout the law and not provide health care, why the people must get arrested because, you know, there's no one to enforce it. Right now, currently, there's, you know, a big hubbub going on about Airbub here in San Francisco because of the fact that, you know, they are, you know, uh, renting out, you know, illegal units because of the planning code and everything else that says it's not legal to do this. And, you know, the uh, spin, the ploy is, you know, it's a sharing economy, how much we're doing for others. However, the law is not being enforced, and that's what the big rub is here. You know, why do you have laws if they're not enforced? Uh, the, the true legislation, you know, seeking to give 90 days, you know, to be able to let, you know, still violates the law. The law not being enforced, haven't, hasn't been enforced. Well, it's the same principle here with the Department of Public Health and the denial of my medical care. Um, anyway, today I am here across the street from, you know, basically where I started videotaping. Now, um, I have been told that there's going to be an officer here from the Northern Station st on civil standby, you know, and that the arrangement has been made, you know, to have a doctor or somebody come out and explain to me, you know, what law I'm breaking, especially under my request and under programmatic access, you know, and having the paperwork to show that Kelly Kruger informed them of that per my disability and everything else. And you will see whether or not, you know, the uh, oath to do no harm uh, you know, and my medical needs, you know, uh, outweigh some trumped up false red herring thing about invasion of privacy or, or whatever. You all understand, having watched these videos, that I am not here to videotape anyone else other than the person I am interacting with to receive the services that I am legally entitled to. And, you know, under my uh, disorder, I'm allowed to videotape, especially, you know, under Title II of ADA and my programmatic access. Another thing you've noticed is that there's not been an ADA representative around. Well, that is for a reason. You know, um, just continue to watch 
and watch what I get today. And uh, if you have hope, if you have expectations of civility and everything else, I certainly hope that these f films will, you know, finally drive in what somebody has to do to look for it and it still doesn't, you know, address whether or not they ever receive it. Because I think you've noticed what I've received so far, uh, doing everything correctly in a world which correctness doesn't matter. I mean, you know, ask Mr. Chu, you know, about the law-breaking activity of Arab Bub and the lack of enforcement. Uh, point in case. Anyway, let's see what the spin is. Let's see where I get. And, you know, should I have hope? Well, I believe that we all know that I don't for a very good reason. So I was told that there would be officers here at 11.30. It's 11.21, and I'm starting to head there to 50 Ivy. And naturally, please note that I will be outside, and I will not, you know, uh, stop videotaping the receipt of my health care, especially under having requested it as an ADA disability issue and it uh, being, you know, under programmatic access. You've seen the games, you know, you've seen the inhumanity. So, you know, I certainly hope that you, uh, your expectations will be uh, shown here to what they should be. The reality versus the illusion.